home that you can open up to the public. This has to be heritage and good housing at the same time. Urban Splash hoped to finish the project in 2017 and have a bold vision for the new estate. Mark Latham is the development manager for the Park Hill project. Are you not being incredibly idealistic to take on a big brute like this when it needs so much work doing to it? Well, yeah, I think we are. In a sense, we are being idealistic, but that's something that Urban Splash does and it turns us on, it's, it's what we're here to do. I mean, there's a lot of the problem, essentially, you have to rebrand brutalism. Yeah, I think, again, that, that is part of it. Um, it's, it's about, I mean, we always say that there's a fantastic piece of graffiti on one of the, the link bridges yeah. that says, I love you, will you marry me? And that sort of is, in a way, our shorthand for, for our relationship to the building. We think it, it needs love again, it needs people to love it, it needs us to love it, to sort of refashion it. Most of the estate has been emptied while the building work is carried out. But there's already a waiting list of old tenants who are eager to move back in. Grenville Squires has been a caretaker at Park Hill for more than 20 years. No one knows this place better than him. So Grenville, what do you think of the regeneration plans here? I think it's a good idea. Um, too many buildings of this kind has been knocked down. Yeah. And um, it's a change to see They recycle everything else, paper, bottles, plastic, everything. Why not recycle buildings? I mean, you've been here for, what, well over two decades now. I mean, you must have a really deep relationship with this building. You're making me feel old now. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I look on Park Hill as, as my mistress. She was the only lady that called me from the marital bed at two o'clock in the morning and made demands. And I might add that <laughs> she's the only one that I reacted to. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. But how do you think the old mistress is looking now? A bit shabby. She's an old lady who's come on hard times. She's going to have her face washed, put a new frock on, and then she'll be out there plugging again. She'll scrub I up good. So. Oh, she'll scrub up good, yeah. <laughs> I love her. I was watching a programme when they were talking about poetry. They said that you've got to care about the thing that you write about, so I thought, I'll have a go. Park Hill's an eyesore, so pull it down. It is a blight on Sheffield's town. That's all you hear, that's all they say. Just blow it up, take it away. We need someone with some foresight who does not see it as an ugly blight to give our flat some TLC and put back the spirit that used to be. Replace the concrete, repair that crack, then put the community spirit back. Make it a place we want to see. Please give Park Hill some TLC. Park Hill is still one of the most controversial buildings in the country and probably always will be, but it's also a vibrant part of all our histories. To save it, we have to learn from it. Buildings like this really pushed Britain forward just when we needed it, and the redevelopment plans have just a dash of that old optimism. To demolish this building would be to repeat the mistakes of the past. Park Hill deserves a second chance. For a free Open University booklet exploring some of the key debates, call 0845 366 8011 or visit bbc.co.uk forward slash saving Britain's past and tell us what you would save as your heritage. <laughs>